one of my favorite studios, Moorcroft, of course, created the iconic tube-line designs that stand the test of time. Pottery still exists today, but I'm particularly fond of these original William Moorcrofts. And after he moved into his own independent studio, the lines that he would uh, utilize for tube lining became incredibly subtle, allowing the colors to flow together. And this is no exception. Have a look at this beautiful moonlit blue pattern. And this is a candle holder. And we believe that it may have been designed to be electrified at some point, as it does, does have these screw threads in here. But one way or another, it will hold a taper, of course, with this splendid little dish to hold it. Uh, Moorcroft himself did not believe that his work was Art Nouveau, but it was something completely unique and of itself. And I completely agree. The use of color, the use of shape, was something that no one else was able to imitate. Moorcroft stands out even today. But have a look at this boldness here. Almost deco, but not quite. Almost Nouveau, but not quite. Nothing but Moorcroft. And we will have a look here. It does include the Moorcroft stamp. It includes William Moorcroft's iconic, and in this case, slightly hard to see signature, but anyone familiar will know that uh, green uh, W there to be his own. And interestingly enough, part of the Macmillan and Perrin Moorcroft exhibition of 1978. So we have wonderful provenance on this moonlit blue pattern, uh, candle stick or candle holder. Splendid example, one of my absolute favorites.